They've got the moves like Jagger. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the history of Maroon 5. Maroon 5 formed in 1994 in Los Angeles, California. Consisting of high school friends Adam Levine on vocals, Jesse Carmichael on keyboards, Mickey Madden on bass, and Ryan Dusick on drums, the alternative rock band was originally dubbed Kara's Flowers. Hey mama, I'm something Their one album on Reprise Records was a flop, so the band was then dismissed from the label. By the end of the 90s, they reunited to record a more pop and R&B-influenced demo, and finally got noticed by Octone Records. The addition of guitarist James Valentine and a name change followed, and Maroon 5 was born. They spent the beginning of the new century playing shows and writing songs, and soon went into the studio to record their debut. The pop and alternative rock disc Songs About Jane was unveiled in 2002. Sales were initially slow, but once Harder to Breathe won radio support, things got a boost all the way to the Billboard Hot 100 Top 20. Meanwhile, the attention Maroon 5 was attracting thanks to their likable tunes allowed them to tour with several high-profile acts over the next few years. By 2004, the Songs About Jane reissue found a place within the top 10 thanks to the release of This Love earlier that year. That track hit the top 10 in numerous countries, including the US, where it eventually won a Grammy and was accompanied by a particularly risque music video. Later that year, She Will Be Loved became another top 5 single and transformed them into America's hottest pop rock band. Maroon 5 complemented their trendy tunes with energetic live performances. Around this time, Levine started carving out a career outside the band by lending his vocals to songs by assorted artists. And I heard him say, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today, but we'll find a way. By mid-decade, Maroon 5's exhausting tour schedule had taken its toll on Dusick, so he was replaced by drummer Matt Flynn. The band's sophomore effort, It Won't Be Soon Before Long, dropped in 2007 and shot to the top of the Billboard 200 chart. It picked up on the pop and rock mood of their previous disc, but also expanded their sound with electric and funk influences. The first single, Makes Me Wonder, barely cracked the Billboard Top 100 early in the year. However, by the time its parent album made its number one debut, the song had leapt over 60 positions to the top of the charts. While touring the world and making television appearances, Maroon 5 re-released their second disc in 2008. Pop starlet Rihanna added more R&B flavor to this version on the single If I Never See Your Face Again. While it only charted at the 51st position on Billboard's Hot 100, the song later received a Grammy nod. During this period, Levine made sure to keep his star shining by appearing on TV and collaborating with different acts. I can't express how I feel, hey, yo, Adam, let's ride. Rain, so 2010's Hands All Over went to number two despite mixed reviews. The album's highest charting single was the top 20 track Misery until the catchy and highly danceable moves like Jagger came out the next year. Featuring pop princess Christina Aguilera, the disco and synth heavy tune arrived on the 2011 re-release of Hands All Over and went on to top multiple charts across the globe.
While basking in the song's success, Maroon 5 kept busy. They showed their faces on numerous TV shows and contributed to the companion album for the film The Hunger Games. Levine acted as coach and judge on the reality show The Voice and continued working with other musicians. Meanwhile, touring keyboardist PJ Morton was brought in to take Carmichael's place when he took some time off. In 2012, the band dropped the dance-driven pop effort Overexposed. The album was preceded by the top five single Payphone, which was another radio success. Maroon 5 became the biggest thing in pop thanks to memorable and relatable lyrics as well as their blend of funk, dance, rock and R&B. Add a highly charismatic frontman, plus millions of albums sold and chart success to the mix and there really is no wonder that they will be loved. So